We, and we try to be uh, able to respond to things as they come up. So it may be that something happens in the community and we have a sense based on phone calls or emails that we get that people really need to deal with it, that they want a place to talk. And if it, if it feels like we can do something about that, then we'll put out the word and say, you know, we, we understand people are really upset about this and you want to have a community meeting, come down to Rack at 5 o'clock today. And we've done things like that and, you know, 40 people will show up and we'll have a community conversation about something that may have just happened. So it may be something as quick as that that, that we'd respond to a community need. Sure, I think a recent example would be the sexual assaults on campus mm -hmm. and, and the resulting new position that Monique DiCarlo was mm -hmm. filling. But she's uh, serving in, in some kind of an administrative position to coordinate responses to assaults, making sure that the people who need to be dealing with different aspects of the of the issues are dealing with them and the things that need to happen are happening. That's excellent. Um, and it's it's wonderful that it's coming out of a, a women's centered mm -hmm. group yes, as well. Yes, definitely. There's some in-house counseling services being offered at RAC. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, we have uh, sort of personal support services on a couple levels and one of them is individual counseling. Our individual counselors are typically University of Iowa graduate students. They're in a graduate program like uh, the counseling program or social work and they do a practicum uh, experience here. So they're here for one or two semesters. They're usually pretty far along in their, in their uh, studies before they come here. And they work individually with, with clients and do one-on-one uh, -on -one counseling with them. And it's, it's a great service for, for a lot of reasons. Um, students obviously have access to the university counseling service if they, if they need a counselor, but community people are, are sometimes left out in the cold. So we see both students and community people and it's always on a sliding scale. Uh, you pay what you can. So no one is turned away uh, because they can't pay. They, they may be turned away because we don't have enough space, but uh, not because they can't pay. And it's usually you know, a short-term model. It's usually no more than a semester. Um, in addition to the individual counseling, we also have a series of support groups uh, that are sometimes sort of problem-focused or issue-focused. And so maybe somebody who isn't ready for counseling or has gone through counseling and still wants to work on some issues may find a group here like eating disorders or body image, uh, depression, being a single mother. So sometimes they're sort of this issue based and other times they're just kind of fun. So we've had feminist art groups, uh, reading groups, writing groups. We have both a reading and a writing group going on this semester. And the groups are peer led uh, by volunteers and so the volunteers go through a training and they learn uh, how to some, some group skills and they create a, uh, an outline and then they run a usually a six to eight week group. And you, the, the library here at the center is excellent, excellent yeah. resource. We have a small library um, that a few years ago we we had a bigger library we wanted to move it downstairs so it was accessible to everybody since we don't have an elevator here so we had to make the collection smaller and so we identified a couple key areas that we knew that people came here looking for help on and so we identified five or six areas including uh, body image stuff because that the eating disorders was clearly one of our biggest topics in our in people who came to use our library so eating disorders financial issues for women because we had to identify that as a really important uh, issue for for women to we we programmed around it and did a lot of quite a bit of work on that and several other uh, topics that that we knew that were popular and so we we got you know, the best uh, titles we could come up with for those topics and, and have those in the library and people can check them out. Well, thank you so much for everything, Lori. You bet. Thank you.